Alright, gonna be teaching you about the whole uh, mob farm thing. So, yeah, mob farms. They're good. And I agree with that. They are good. So, let's go back to, uh, hold on, home eat, I'm just gonna use that, okay, look at my old stuff, somebody, love, that's nice. <laughs> Man, am I farming. Alright, so basically, let's go outside this claim. Uh, let's make a pseudo. Area for farm. So Okay, now let's start off. So, pretend, so, this could be your, you know, area. <clears throat> right? So you basically, so you want to live here. Uh, you want to make your farm here, right? This would basically be the basic. You can make it as big as you want, but this is the basic size, one by one. <clears throat> now, I'm currently helping someone on Discord about this, and I thought I'd, you know, make a tutorial on this. I don't play in here anymore, but I, I'd, I'd still like to teach some people to help out the community. So, basically, think of uh, you have like a cow or something, or you have a cow spawner, and then it goes into this. Basically, if you have a passive, uh, if you have a mob farm, a public one, that includes, um, like, friendly mobs, like cows, pigs, uh, sheep, like, like those, they're gonna funnel into here, but your, but your customers aren't be gonna be able to hit them, because it's disabled. So... What you want to, what you want to do, it actually depends. But for here, if you if you just want to limit it to this, uh, hold on. Okay, I walk you through. So you want to type subdivide claims. You can tab it in right here. You can also do subdivide claims. It does the same thing. It depends on which you prefer. I prefer this. Click that. And you, what you want to do is double click. Uh, 
untrain and then train okay so you want to do subdivide claim right click if it if your things like a two by two you want to click on the other corner like this if it's just a one by one click on this just use your second click on that once you got your thing done you want to you want to get into this area and make sure you're and be like be precise with this you want to be right on this block make sure you're not like on the edge or anything you want to be on this block it can be like this or this but i suggest try be in the middle i've had a close encounters back in season three uh when do when making my form so you really want to make sure this you do this correctly so you want to do container trust and then all you can also do public so what that'll do is basically if you do this it'll tell you about it basically it uh, don't mind this inventory means chests it can't make you can't players can't just grab from your inventory what they mean is if you place a like a chest if you place a chest down here uh basically the block where you container trusted everyone uh they'll be able to open this chest and take out of it even if it's like a view containers on if they have container trust all then that then they'll be able to use that however it is useful if you have like a storage system i'll be one on that they can also use the levers i haven't confirmed this yet but maybe they can use repeaters or any sort of toggable redstone thing but i'm not too sure anyways that's just you know a disclaimer so that's the end of this however there is a something there's a two more things i want to show you so uh so let's first start off with this so remember how i mentioned uh like a few seconds ago that you could uh, combine container trust with the chests well yes you can you just have to you can just replace that with a hopper if you don't like the look of the hopper you want to change it you can put uh you can put a slab you can put a trap door me I like to use um, oh you can also use pressure plates but you can but I suggest not using that for multiple reasons so basically they'll kill the mobs right They'll kill the mobs, it'll go down here, and they can access it. So, not only can they, uh, they use the, so, not only could your, uh, customers kill the, fr the friendly mobs, but also they can get their stuff, they can open the chest, they can even open this one. This also applies to... Barrels, dispensers, furnaces, grindstones too, a lot of things. Basically any container you think of. This doesn't apply to ender chests since it, since 
any ender chest he can access without needing anything. So yeah. Yeah, it can also use that for redstone contraptions, but it's not really an important thing. Now, you may be wondering why I even enabled this, and here's a little, uh, here's a little, uh, hack, or like, a little exploit I found. A little workaround, a loophole, in this sort of, you know, you can't place like, you can't place like two of the same spawner in one chunk. Well, that's easy. Just place, just place your farm in between four chunks, right here, and then just place four spawners. Like pretend these are spawners. These four would be able to work separately. This means you get four times the efficiency. That's that's how uh, my that's how uh, that's how I created my uh, multi -fa multi farm in season three and was able to grind uh, able to get to the top of MCMMO in like under a week. Or me. Maybe it was a little over a week? I can't remember. Like, a week and a day. Yeah. So, like, eight days. So, yeah, you could stack this up with some more mob spawners. They could, and they'll, like, all spawn at, at like, different times. And you're gonna basically have this like amalgamation of stuff and you're gonna get a ton of levels this is useful for uh just public farms but also it can grind mcmo like i said for example swords you can sweep them axes you can spam them make sure to not get uh like not auto kick because that's dumb and yeah you can also use it for archery. If you use a piercing crossbow, you can shoot. And there's other stuff. I'll, I'll explain more on the grinding MCMO on another thing. But this is that that uh, this for this four chunk strategy is essential to uh, MCMMO grinding as you can see here uh, got lots of people lots of stuff but in another tutorial I'll show you a good way to grind Okay, I'll be seeing you off, and I hope I taught you something, you know, that you'll remember. Make your mega grinders and your 1 million claim block size claims. See ya.